have your sheep's brain, which you should compare to your sheep's heart. What do you think it's better at? Running or thinking? Running. Running. They're not very intelligent animals. So for your sheep's brain, there are three coverings to the brain. The outermost covering, meningi layer, meninges, um, is your dura mater. It's very tough, very thick, very much a protective layer. Then you have your arachnoid layer. So if you think about it, it kind of looks like spider web. So it goes with arachnoid. That's your middle layer. And then that part that's getting filled up right there, that's also this part. That's your pia matter. That's your innermost layer of your brain. Then you have your longitudinal fissure, which goes along the length of the brain. Your transverse fissure, which goes separates the brain into forebrain and hindbrain, and midbrain. You should know what each of those are technically called. I'll let you guys look that up. Oh man, this is better than the other one. The other one's got this better. No, they didn't. Yeah, you told me everything. No, I'm going into the same detail. I haven't told them. Like, I have never used the words wrong, wrong, stuff wrong, or any of those words yet. Those are all fun words for you to look up. Those eyes smell wonderful. Mm. And they tell me that they're not rotting. Okay, so you have your superior colliculi and your inferior colliculi. Those make up your corpora quadrigemini. God, that's just as bad as like a chicken farm. I know. And then, oh, chicken chips are where. <laughs> These also make up the roof of the midbrain, which is also known as the tectum. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. If you kind of bend this down, you can see there's like a lump in there. Can you guys all see that? Really? Oh yeah. Yeah. That lump. Did you see that? Did you, Did you say lump? Yeah, there's like a little round part in there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's your pineal body. large lump right here is your cerebellum, and after that is your medulla oblongata, which is this kind of region right here, and that's your spinal cord after that. The cerebellum is this large, almost second brain that's right there. Highly developed in reptiles, it tends to be their largest part. It's used for motor activity, I believe. You'll have to double check your packets on that. This is where, in mammals, this tends to be the most developed region. Okay, so we flip it over to the other side and we get to look at nerves. You have your olfactory bulb right here. Olfactory bulb always tends to get chewed up somewhat, which is used for your sense of smell, which I wish I didn't have right now. <laughs> this is your olfactory tract. Right here. The olfactory nerve, this is the olfactory bulb, the olfactory nerve overall is, is nerve number one. You have to know both the number and the name of the nerve. And you have to be able to ID one through six on the brain. The rest of them you just have to be able to know their function and what they do. So this is your optic nerve, which is nerve number two. If we stick a pin right in the center, that's your optic chiasma. And then coming down right here on either side are your optic tracts. That hole right there is your infundibulum. And the little part that goes around it right here is your mammillary body. This is the area that would normally be covered by the pituitary gland. But it's been taken off so we can see all these fun things. So right here 
is your um, oculomotor nerve. So it controls your eye direction. So when you look around, that's what's moving. Eye. Um, that's nerve number three. Nerve number four is your trigeminal, or no, or trochlear nerve. Right there. there should be another one on this side, but apparently it got ripped off. Okay. And then you have nerve number five, which is your trigeminal nerve. These tend to, again, get ripped off. They're little stumpy, fat nerves. Right here. Right there. And you have your abducens in the middle. That's nerve number six. Where's the abducens? And this one. This is your ventral median fissure. This is your medulla oblongata. This is your spinal cord. That's that part of the brain. Then we move on to the sagittal view. We'll start with your cerebral cortex, which is this. I told that the sheep's eyes were rotty. <laughs> okay. So, down here you have your fornix, which is this thickened region. And the pineal body, which should be right here. It's kind of mushed up, but it's still kind of there. Um, that's what you saw when we bent the brain down and looked for the little round thing on the inside, remember? Okay, then you have your third ventricle, which lies right above the hypothalamus. It's your third ventricle. And then your lateral ventricle lies right in here, between your fornix, this thickened region, and your corpus callosum, which is the thickened region above it. Also that, and that's your lateral ventricle on the inside. There. Your thalamus is this round thing right here. Right in the middle of your thalamus is your massa intermedia, and right below your thalamus is your hypothalamus. Your olfactory bulb again. Optic chiasma, again. Pituitary gland is missing. There is one brain, I think, that's floating around that has one still attached to it. But if it was here, it would be attached right around. Right over here. In was that little hole that we showed you that we, right there. Your pons is the start of your medulla oblongata, so it's that first fold right there. Cerebral aqueduct is right here. And medulla oblongata is all of this. Then we have your fourth ventricle, which lies right beneath the cerebellum. And your spinal cord, which is this part right here. And this is your central canal. This whole part right here is your cerebellum, with the part that you guys recall from the first part of class. This is your arbor vitae, or the tree of life. Also the white matter. And then you come back to right here and right here. You have your superior colliculus and your inferior colliculus. And when you combine those together, you get your core core quadrigemina which make up the roof of the midbrain, which is the tech also known as the tectum. And that's it.